We are here with the first installment of the Where You Should Be series here in NBA 2K23. My team, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a series I drop every single Friday, giving you guys an update about all the XP that drops and where you guys should be to get that level 40 reward. Now, again, let me clarify something that this is not a guarantee. This is just something that I try to give you guys not only as a goal to kind of push yourselves to kind of get that XP done, but also just to let you know that you guys are on track so you guys aren't feeling like you guys are left behind or feeling like you're way behind and you're not going to get them or anything like that if you guys do enjoy this video do me a favor and smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button i'm going to set a like goal at 300 likes by next friday and if you guys hit that we will definitely be bringing you guys another episode of this so where you should be like i said episode number one underway now you guys can see let me clarify again i am level 36 that is not where you guys need to be don't worry but also it, just in case you guys need to know this as well if you guys are still level one say you guys haven't done a single thing of xp you guys are completely fine and you guys will still be able to get level 40 don't worry about that but for the first week, let's give you guys a good goal that I think you guys, you know, I think you guys can pretty much hit. Hey guys, if you guys need anything, whether it is online or offline grinding, hit up my man Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter is in the description down below. Really fast, really reliable, and is going to help you guys get through domination, clutch time, triple debt, whatever you guys need. Let's just take a look at all the XP. Obviously, you know, first things first, we have been getting dailies every single day, and they have been equaling out to around 400 to 450 XP per day, which again, I've talked about in the past that you guys definitely want to make sure you guys are doing all of the dailies and everything like that. Also, though, when it comes to the dailies, something very similar is the win the weekend stuff. This stuff is really good for you guys to get some XP with, and I highly suggest you guys don't overlook this. I understand it is annoying because you kind of have to play all the different modes, but it is worth it at the end of the day to make sure that you guys do get a ton of this XP. So again, just taking a look, there's a ton that adds up. This is 1500 right here. Um, 2,000, 2,500, I mean, 3,500, 4,500, 5,000. So yeah, there is a total of 6,000 XP you guys get through the win the weekend. So it is definitely worth going through. It really doesn't take all that much time either. I mean, you kind of get it as you're grinding anyway. So it definitely is worth it. Also though, some other stuff you guys want to go ahead and make sure you guys are completing is the weekly stuff here. So you guys can see here again, week one, part one, they actually gave out 1,750 xp that is actually not something that they normally do for the first part of the week week or part two was even more at 2250 and then the final part here was at four yeah 4500 xp it is definitely worth going through and getting this xp done it doesn't really take all that much time again and most of it does get done as you guys are grinding in itself so make sure you guys are completing the weekly stuff the daily stuff and the win the weekend stuff now, some other XP that is not here that obviously was a thing was the Limitless XP, similar to what we are getting with the Intensity promo here. Limitless was obviously the first promo that did drop, so there was a ton of XP. Now, if you guys are a no money spent player, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, or at least a budget player here, a lot of you guys always bug out because you guys see guys like Zion Williamson, the Pink Diamond, and Vince Carter, you know, another Pink Diamond here. You guys don't have to do this. Like, this is something that, again, people just freak out about. I never understood why. Excuse me, you guys don't have to do the pink diamond stuff. Like you can literally leave it blank. Out as far as the limitless stuff does well, or goes, I did all of them except for the pink diamond step. The reason why is pink diamond step is like super expensive. So I'm not going to worry about doing all that right now. There's literally no point. So again, as far as you know the rest of this stuff goes, like Zion. Don't worry about the pink diamond one, but the diamond one and this one, I think are definitely doable. All the depot, Ben Wallace, Marcus Smart, Tyson Chandler, all definitely doable as well. If you guys do do that challenge and don't manage to get an original owner card like me, it is okay. I actually spent 100K MT and did the challenge and didn't get a single original owner. It sucks because it is a good chunk of MT or a good, chunk, a good chunk of XP that I am missing out on, but it's fine. All this stuff is definitely going to make up for it. So don't even stress again about missing that. Same thing with the shades of stuff. You guys can see all the stuff that I was able to do. I'm not stressing about not doing the original owner stuff. And then again, Blake Griffin, it sucks, but I'm not going to spend a ton of MT for a card just to get some XP when I'm going to be able to get level 40 completely fine without it. So again, don't stress yourself out over stuff like that. 
Um, with this being the first week, though, again, team stuff, this is all the XP as you guys go through. The players you guys will get and everything you guys can see. The only two I don't have done are the Cartwright points in the paint and Giannis dunks because I still do plan on doing these challenges because you do get another choice at that Hall of Fame badge pack, but I'm probably going to just save that all for one sitting. So, again, that is kind of why I'm saving some of that stuff here. I might end up doing it. I don't really know. Um, the NBA series stuff, I feel like it's pretty easy to do. I mean, most of the, the ones that do involve three players and five players, I mean, these are all the two token sets that you guys can go ahead and do, um, or the two token packs or whatever you guys can go ahead and accomplish. The 10-1, 12-1, 13 ones, all those, I understand is a little bit more, so I really don't blame you guys for kind of leaving these out as of right now. I do plan on doing them eventually. That's kind of where I think primarily most of my XP is going to come from, but again, we will get there when we get there. That's why I'm not stressing about the other stuff too, too much. Uh, final thing, though, I do want to talk about before we get into the where you should be part is going to be the uh, season one tip-off stuff. Again, all this stuff kind of naturally happens. So just as you're grinding through the modes, just kind of pay attention to what you guys need, and you guys will be able to get that done. Unlimited, you guys can see we have 61 out of 200. I've only played two Unlimited games. Um, and then graded here, uh, graded, cl or again, clutch time offline or online using five graded cards. Pretty self-explanatory. I will get that done eventually. And then draft, I literally have not touched draft yet. So again, all this stuff will get done pretty quick. So now we are at the where you should be spot for the pink diamond Scotty Pippen. Now I will say really quick that one of my friends, actually one of my best friends, did actually get Scotty Pippen today. So shout out to my man Print Parachute 6. Be sure to go check out his Twitch. I'll actually link that in the description or in the comments down below. Be sure to go check him out. He actually did get level 40 today, which is kind of crazy uh, to think about. So where do I think you guys should be? I am level 36 here just surpassing 100,000 XP. Again, you guys do not need to be where I am, okay? I, the only reason why I'm this far is because I've been hitting that grind hard, and I did forget I lied. You actually got 300 XP per domination win that you guys did get for the first 33 games, I believe. It was either 30 or 33 games, but... I did forget to mention that. So going all the way back to the beginning here, obviously starting with zero XP, where do I think is a pretty fair goal for you guys to be? Well, going through all this sort of stuff here, I feel like there's a lot of XP you guys can get from just naturally playing the game and everything like that. Um, so I think right here is going to be a pretty fair goal. I think anywhere between 19 and 22 is a pretty fair goal to be in for the first week of the game. The reason why, I mean, you're basically going to be right under 18,000 XP. And as I did say, the win the weekend stuff, the, you know, season tip off stuff, the domination stuff, all that sort of things or all those things are going to build up and give you guys so much XP before you even realize it. And again, even if you guys do only play like an hour or two a day, that's going to build up and you guys are going to be able to get a good chunk of XP done and be able to kind of work your way through. So I think this is a pretty fair goal here. I mean, like I said, 18K, really nothing crazy. Um, and you do get to multiple ascension boards. You also do get, you know, Bill Cartwright, which is going to be solid. And you also do get Steve Kerr. Two cards, actually, plus Giannis, that are going to help you guys get even more XP and everything like that. There's some additional packs you guys are going to be able to get in here. Some diamond shoes and everything like that. Uh, season one ruby card and everything. So it is definitely, you know, I, I think a good spot to be. If you guys kind of want to push yourself even more, I'm going to say hit level 24 by the end of the weekend. And you guys will be good to go. You'll be over a fifth or basically be a i'm sorry a six of the way there excuse me um and yeah as long as you're at the level 24 a little bit towards that 25k xp range you guys definitely will be i think you know i think you guys will definitely be on track for where you guys need to be for a pink diamond scotty you don't gotta rush you don't gotta worry about you know missing out on xp or anything like i said being a six of the way through is completely fine for where we are right now in my team so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to go check out all of the other tip videos on the channel. We do, I, we finally did get di our pink diamond Jordan pool finally. So we are going to be working towards our next showcase. A lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments of videos, what showcase am I going to be going for next? So like I said, we do have the Jordan pool. I am sticking in the division and everything like that. So our next one is going to be the Los Angeles Lakers, which you guys can see we are seven out of 15 already. We are kind of working our way through and just kind of hoping RNG is going to be on our our side we have been able to get a good chunk already so i'm definitely excited to uh try to get this james worthy so again thank you guys so much for watching and yeah peace